In this tutorial, we are going to see how to install Mac OS Monterey on an Ubuntu system using VirtualBox. So let's get started. First, we will start with checking the system specifications and recommended hardware and software requirements for this tutorial. I have used Kubuntu 20.04 in this tutorial, which is a flavor of Ubuntu operating system. One of the most important things here is our system's RAM. The recommended RAM memory size for this tutorial is minimum 32 gigabytes. If you have a lower RAM, then Mac OS Monterey virtual machine might keep crashing. If you are interested in Kubuntu operating system, you can visit their website kubuntu.org where you can read further about this Ubuntu based operating system. Or you can simply read about Kubuntu on Wikipedia. Kubuntu is an official flavor of Ubuntu, as we can read on the first line of Kubuntu on its wiki. Now, let's start with the first step of downloading and installing VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack. To do this, simply Google VirtualBox, go to the official VirtualBox website, click the blue download VirtualBox button. It will take us to the download page. First, download the VirtualBox extension pack, then go to the Linux distributions page to download VirtualBox and click on the Ubuntu 20.04 link to download the VirtualBox. Next, we should download the macOS Monterey ISO file. To do this, I simply googled macOS Monterey ISO file and randomly downloaded the ISO file from first few search results in Google. You can also download the ISO file from any verified website you want. The size of the ISO file is almost 16 GBs. Since I have already downloaded the Mac OS Montreal ISO file, so now we will move to the next step. Our next step is to install the VirtualBox on our computer. So go to the downloads folder or whatever location where you have downloaded the virtual box and then open the terminal there and then issue the command sudo dpackage dash i and the name of the virtual box downloaded file. You can type in first four letters of the virtual box downloaded file and press the tab key to autocomplete the name of the file and press enter. The installation will automatically complete. After installing VirtualBox, we will open VirtualBox and add the extension pack. To do this, click on the tools on the left hand side of the VirtualBox. After clicking tools, click on preferences, then navigate to extensions. After that, Click the small add button to add the extension pack. Click on the extension file we downloaded in the previous step and click open. You will see an install button after adding the extension file. Since I have already added it, it shows a reinstall button to me. You should click the install button to install it. After that, we will create a new virtual machine by clicking the new button. Then go to the type drop down list and select Mac OS X and make it a 64-bit version. Then I will name it to Mac OS Monterey Tutorial. You can name the uh, virtual machine whatever you like. Next, uh, assign the RAM to virtual machine, which is a very important step. I will assign the RAM to 24 GBs. Otherwise, the virtual machine may keep crashing due to memory issues and click Create. Next, we will add a virtual hard disk and give it a 120 GB memory space and click Create. Now we can see a new virtual machine Mac OS Monterey tutorial has been created. To configure the settings of the uh, virtual machine, click on Settings. Then go to the System menu and uncheck the floppy checkbox. After that, assign four processors to the virtual machine. Next, go to the display menu and assign the graphic memory to 128 MBs. After that, we will go to the storage menu and select empty option and click on that small blue disk on the right side to 
add the macOS Monterey ISO file that we previously downloaded. Navigate to the macOS Monterey ISO file, select it and click choose. After this step, click OK. Now we can close the virtual box. The next step is to open your terminal and copy paste some of the virtual box commands in your terminal one by one. These commands should contain the name of our virtual machine. If you have a VM with a different name, then change the name inside all these commands. All of these commands are available in the video description. Feel free to copy paste them in your terminal. Now we will copy these commands one by one and paste them in our terminal and press enter. You would have also noticed that the name of our newly created virtual machine Mac was Monterey tutorial is written in each command. If you have a different name for your virtual machine, then you can rename your virtual machine in each command and then paste them one by one. I have pr provided these commands in the video description. Feel free to copy them in your terminal. After entering all the commands, we can close our console or terminal. Then we will open our virtual box again and then we will select our newly created virtual machine Mac OS Monterey tutorial and start it by clicking the start button. After starting the machine, the installation process will start and we can close the virtual box running in the background. The boot process may take a few seconds or minutes depending on your computer speed. After the boot process, we will be prompted to select the language. I will select English. On the next screen, click on the disk utility to create partition for Mac OS Monterey installation. Choose the VBOX hard disk media and click erase. You can name your hard drive whatever you want. I will name it Monterey OS and click erase. Here type in the name for your hard drive and then click the erase button. You can name it whatever you like. After that we will quit the disk utility and click on install install macOS Monterey. And click on install macOS Monterey. On the next screen, click continue. Next, click on agree to agree the terms and conditions. After that, we will be asked to choose the disk to install macOS Monterey. We will choose the disk that we created in the previous steps and click continue and installation will start. It may take a few minutes to install the macOS. After the installation is complete, we will be asked to select our country or region. I will select United States just as an example and click continue. Next, choose the written and spoken language for your OS. English is already chosen, so just click continue. Click not now for accessibility options. Next, we will be prompted about data and privacy. Click continue on data and privacy. We don't want to set up migration assistant, so click not now. Next, click on setup later for signing in with your Apple ID and skip it in the next step. After that, agree to the terms and conditions. Next, create your username and password to log into Mac West Monterey and click continue. 
create a secure password for your Mac OS monitor account and then after creating the username and password click on continue on the next screen click continue again if you want to enable location services then check the enable location services checkbox next choose your time zone and click continue i will just keep the default option and click on continue button next i will uncheck the share analytics checkbox and click on continue because i don't want to share my analytics with apple for now in the next step we can also set up the screen time to set up later next we will be asked if we want to enable siri or not i also want to disable siri for now so uncheck the checkbox and click on continue in the next step choose the color scheme for mac was monterey i like the dark theme so i will choose the dark option and click on continue at this point the mac was monterey is fully installed on our ubuntu machine now we can start using it however we like. Feel free to explore different options in the Mac OS. We can also start using the internet right away after the installation is complete. If you have any issues or errors during the installation, feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Bye.